welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, we'll be working here on a Mazda guys uh, and we'll show you how to remove and replace CV axle guys. This is your CV axle. Stay with us guys and we'll explain what needs to be done and how to replace it. Most of the Mazdas will be that way. Uh, most of them will be front wheel drive or all wheel drive but on the all wheel drive you have an axle on the front as well. So if that axle is worn out guys, what will happen actually? Okay, you can hear some popping, clicking sound when you steer left or right or on acceleration and you can actually even have some vibrations when coasting and accelerating as well. So stay with us guys and we'll start on it and we'll cover everything from start to finish. We guys have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop because our mission guys is to save you as much money as we can. So let's start on it. So we'll guys demonstrate on the uh, the left side of the vehicle, the right side is almost identical with some minor differences, we're going to cover that. Uh, we'll demonstrate on Mazda CX-7, but as I said, most of them will be that way. SUVs, things will be a little bit bigger, cars will be a little bit thinner, but uh, you get an, uh, get an idea. So on the left side, since we're working on the left side, we'll turn the steering wheel all the way to the right. Okay, we have the wheel removed, and always use a jack stand. As a safety measure, guys, we put the wheel under the car, so if something terribly bad goes, uh, goes wrong, you know, like the jack stand malfunctions, the, it will at least fall on the wheel and not kill us. Now, that's the nut for the CV axle, guys. That's what it looks like. Now, this nut, there is one flattened spot right here that we need to straighten so we can get it loose. Otherwise, you won't be able to get that nut loose. Okay, looks like... It's good. Now we use some interphone spray. All the tools and parts that we use guys will be listed in the description of the video below. Okay, for your convenience guys. Now, while we're working on that stuff, we're going to spray, okay, this bolt right there is for the lower control arm. We're going to spray this bolt, uh, that way it can soak, okay, while we're removing the nut here. In our case, it's a 36 millimeter soak it because it's an SUV CX-7 but uh, actually if it's a car guys you might expect to be a little bit smaller as well so now okay what we're going to do one person will hold the brake okay inside the vehicle like we hold the brake all the way down okay press down and while we are holding the brake okay we're going to get an extension and a pipe okay and we'll try to get it loose so if it doesn't want to get loose Okay, let's hold the brake more. Nope, he doesn't want to. What I'll do, I'll get the hammer. Okay, we need to hold the brake even a little bit more because you can see we're spinning. So I won't be able I won't be able to hit like that because it's too too high up. Okay. Perfect. Careful not to damage anything, but while we're doing that. Okay guys, and it came loose. So a little bit chaotic here because I'm holding the camera with one uh, with one hand and hitting with the other one. Okay, we don't need to hold the brakes anymore. Okay, we're going to remove the nut. Now inside we'll spray really good because those teeth, okay, that the CV axle goes in the hub. Okay, let me show you quick what the teeth looks like. Let's get one axle. Okay, and those teeth guys, they go, okay, in the hub okay in the bearing and those teeth will corrode so we need to clean them and by using the penetrating spray it will break it loose now we need to turn the steering wheel to the right okay let's steer to the right perfect and right here guys okay you can see uh, okay i'm trying to focus here so you can see things a little bit better okay you can see right there now uh, that nut, okay, we will need to get it off. Once you get it loose, the bolt will start spinning usually on the other side, so we need to hold it. Okay, this thing is pretty, pretty tight. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and get the big tools. Okay, the bolt head is on this side right here. Uh, in our case, it's 14 millimeter. 14 millimeter socket, guys. Uh, yours might be a little bit different. Okay, you can see it came loose, 
Now the wrench will hold it on this side. Okay, and we'll start taking this thing off now. Okay, so we might need to get the ratchet in a little bit once it starts going loose. Okay, eventually it will get loose and it will go pretty easy even though there is some rust build up here. Okay guys, we're going to spray here the bolt. Okay, and uh, we also sprayed, okay, in this crack right here on the hub. That way it can penetrate there. We're going to get the uh, wrench out. And what we'll do, we're going to screw the nut back in. Okay, almost to the point that the bolt is barely sticking out, almost even. And we're going to hammer it now, guys. Okay, to break that bolt loose. Just gently tap on it. Perfect. That's it. Now we're going to get it loose. Remove that nut. Okay, great. Now, if we get on the other side, okay, we can use the socket to unscrew the bolt in most cases. If it's stuck, that way it will come out easy. Okay oh, guys, this is the bolt and you can see how much rust was inside of it. Okay, that's why we needed to spray it and all that stuff. That penetrating spray is amazing guys, I'm telling you. So, what we'll do, we'll turn the steering wheel now. Okay, to the left, usually. Now, let me explain quick. You have a sway bar guys. This is your sway bar that keeps your suspension stiff when cornering. Okay, this sway bar attaches to the lower control arm through the sway bar link. In some cases you will need to disconnect it, usually it's one nut and or bolt that you need to remove and you get it loose, that way you'll be able to press the, okay, to press the uh, control arm down. We have the other side up in the air, so uh, that way it's a little bit easier and we might get away with it without removing the sway burning. Now, usually, okay, we can use a pry bar or a hammer and we'll show you how to get it loose now. So let us show you guys now why the CV axle pops first. Okay, now that CV axle guys moves left and right every time you turn. This is your CV axle here, this is uh, the CV joint outside one and this is the inner one there. Now when we turn the steering wheel, okay left and right, check out what happens to that axle, okay. It just, it moves guys, it moves quite a bit. Okay, on the inside it gets wore out, it gets a little bit of play and that play guys, it will not be contacting good and it will be causing, okay, it will be causing that popping. So that's what's causing it guys. Now if the inner one is wore out, what will happen? You can notice guys, okay, uh, when coasting, okay, driving down the road, uh, you will have car shake, okay, it will, it will be terrible. Um, hard to diagnose shake and you'll wonder what's causing that, it's because of an inner CV, CV joint uh, that's wore out. Now right here guys you can get a screwdriver okay and uh, or a punch that size. Okay first okay let's get it in and then I'll show you because from the arm I cannot show you anything. Okay you can see it's between the two pieces on the on the hub. Okay like that and now guys with everything sprayed without penetrating oil Okay, it came off, but I think it, it will break loose. Okay, it started coming off. Okay, check out how much it went down. Okay, it went down probably about four millimeters now.
Okay guys, now it came loose. Now we need to just uh, uh, get the pipe, okay? We need to get a pipe, okay? And we will need to, uh, what do we need to do? We will need to get it locked, okay? On the, okay, on the frame there. We'll bring the control arm down and at the same time, we're going to pull that thing out. Okay, and let me show you now. This is the locking plate. Okay. Let's pull it out and I'm going to show you now. Okay, what it looks like. Here. Okay, trying to focus. So you can see how it came out, guys. Okay. And now, what we need to do. Okay, we need to get the nut. Start it, make it almost even with the bolt. Okay, hammer just a couple of times while I'm pulling that thing out. Don't cause any damage to your brake line, no tension. Now we'll get a rubber hammer so we don't cause any damage to the threads. Okay, and if it, if it doesn't want to come out, okay, you might need to just gently Careful not to bend your threads. Okay, to get it out. The only problem is, guys, okay, that it's really stuck in those teeth here. Okay, so we'll try to spray from the back a little bit so we can break them, break them loose. Okay, so let's try one more time. Okay, definitely still stuck. Now you have to be careful if you're reusing your CV axle, guys, not to cause any damage here because if you hit it too much, it will spread and you won't be able to install the nut. So you can use a punch here or extension to hit on it. But since we'll be replacing it, we're not so concerned about it. So we're just going to go ahead and... Okay, hit it and... Okay, definitely going in. Believe me guys, usually it will be way easier to come out. Okay, in our case it's extremely, extremely tight. Why? Because uh, that car was exposed to a lot of rust. So let's spray just a little bit of more spray while it's loose like that. So it can penetrate there. And now we're going to get an extension guys. Okay, and while we're pulling this way, okay, we're going to tap on it. Okay, came loose. Now, we can just go ahead. Grab it and pull it out, guys. Careful not to bend too much your strut, okay? Uh, your uh, brake line as well. So now we will show you how to remove it from the transmission side. Okay, let's see if we... No. You see now right here we won't be able to install our nut because we hit it too much. As a result, now guys, you can either fire it a little bit here, gently fire it, and it will work, or if you're replacing with any one, it doesn't really matter. So what we'll be using now, guys, okay, uh, these tools, you can find them listed in the description of the video below. Uh, this is an axle popper tool. Uh, the one that will fit in our case, okay, will be this one. So it will go between the transmission side, okay, between the transmission side and the CV axle. Okay, I'm trying, okay, let me, let me show you now. Okay, you can, okay, let, let, one, one moment please okay it's going to go right there okay between the two and then just pry on it okay we might need to just tap on it a little bit okay guys and the axle came out now Okay, perfect. This axle, guys, is out of the way. You can see how easy it's with that too. You just have to be careful not to, cra to put too much tension, okay, too much pressure because uh, you don't want to crack your transmission side here. Okay, that's where it goes. In addition, guys, uh, without that too, it's really hard to remove it and there is a higher chance to crack your transmission housing. So be very careful. I'll definitely recommend using that too. So you can see guys that's how you uh, remove uh, how you remove that CV axle on the right side okay 
uh, you may uh, use the other two or you may use uh, just a hammer because you have an extension so it's a little bit easier this is a trickier one so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to some of you having a Mazda vehicle and trying to replace a CV axle putting it together is in reverse order we took it apart guys thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time